Good morning and welcome to America's Home Cooking. I'm making a dish that I'm sure just about everybody knows how to make, and that is lasagna. The only thing is, is I made my own ricotta cheese, which I've shown you how to do. I made my own tomato sauce, which I've shown you as well. I put a little bit of oil in this pan, and what I am going to do is I am going to brown a pound well, it's actually one and a quarter pounds because the package I bought was two and a half and I just divided it in half. And uh, I'm gonna put it in there and brown it up and then we'll get the tomato sauce in it. And I will be serving this with a salad because it is lasagna and pasta is a starch. You don't have to add bread, garlic bread or anything to it. So a lot of people like to add more starch to it than what it needs. I avoid it. Because you really just need one starch per meal. And you do it right. Because then you keep your body more in balance. Like they say, two vegetables atop the ground. You've got to have one below the ground and that keeps your body balanced. It's very hard to do all of this, but I do work at it. So remember, if you're preparing a meal, if you have a vegetable below the ground, you should have two above the ground, and you only need one starch per meal. And if you have, remember, uh, three ounces of any meat or fish or, or poultry is actually 25 grams of protein. You can pretty much set a meal out. And when you remember the colors, you've got it. Now your people will croak, but I'm going to use the same bowl. So I'm saying that I have been shoveling this morning, and I had wet snow about eight inches, and I had to do a driveway, I had to go up to the trash of the sidewalk. <sighs> My arms feel like they're going to fall off in a minute, so if I start shaking, don't, don't panic out. I'm just really, really tired. Now, I'm not real good at being exact on this, though it reads, use this, use it. I always am all. Oh, come on. Okay. I should have made this before I went out to the yard, but I didn't think about that. See, I've had people make lasagna by it, and it's more pasta than it is everything else. That's why I always add a little more cheese, I add a little more of this, I add a little more of that. I hate just eating starch. I'm going to sit down. I want to enjoy, like I said, I want to enjoy what I'm eating. And remember that once it's done, you have to sit there and let it sit about 20 minutes for everything to settle before you cut it and you start serving it. I would have made my own lasagna, but it broke my machine. I'm gonna have to figure out another way of making lasagna. I, I was shocked when my machine broke.
Could you imagine those pioneer women? They probably could knock your teeth down our throats <laughs> with all the hand work that they used and they helped in their husband and all. You couldn't bring those people down. We're so weak today compared to what they were. You think of everything that they went through. You couldn't afford to be weak. Yes, I'm going to add more cheese. Of course I'm going to add more cheese. Don't worry, I still have Parmigiano cheese I have to grate it. I think I get some common sense, right? But, am I going to listen? Nah. That's the cheese I made this morning. I stuck it in the refrigerator after I made it. that in a hurry, didn't we? Yeah, because we want three cups of tomato sauce, four cups of ricotto. Well, you know I'm going to add a little more of everything. I don't hide it. The only thing I never, ever remember, and you think I would, is how we put this together, but I never remember. What goes first? I remember the tomato sauce at the bottom. <clears throat> That's not the only one section I remember. Now remember, when you cook the lasagna, you're only cooking it 10 minutes. It's not cooked. When you bake it, that's when it's going to start cooking. And we set our oven at 375 for people who don't know how to make this. No tapping. Oh, there was something I wanted to bring to your attention. Oh God, what was it? Oh shoot. Ding, 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 ding. I'm trying to remember. So much goes through my head at times. Yes. 
When you get pregnant, your body puts on 10 pounds. You know, 10 pounds of that isn't for the baby. That is milk and uh, nutrients that you're storing in your body. So when you have the baby, you can nurse your child and there's like 10 pounds of food for them until they get old enough to uh, start eating solids and stuff. So if you don't breastfeed your child, you won't, you'll lose weight, people will diet like crazy when you're young, but when you get older, that 10 pounds is gonna come back on it. You can't get rid of it. It's permanently stuck because it's there to feed a baby. So if you don't breastfeed, understand as you get older, you're going to put that weight on and there is nothing you can do. Now I couldn't feed my second one because I was in the hospital on my deathbed. Doctors didn't know for a whole year if I was gonna live or die. So we had to do other things for our young son. And uh, I, as when I got older, I put that extra 10 pounds back. I didn't have it when I was younger because I'd been so sick. But after I got into menopause, I put that 10 pounds. I've actually got 10 pounds of extra weight on me because of that. There's nothing you can do about it. Because I couldn't breastfeed him. The doctor gave me direct orders. You are not going to breastfeed. And I said, but, but, but. And he said, you are not. I said, my child needs to get that cholesterol that I've got in my body. He said, you can't. It will kill you. So I couldn't, I couldn't do it for him. And uh, I put that 10 pounds on. So if you have five children and you don't breastfeed them, when you get older, you're going to be putting 50 pounds on because it's all sitting there for your children. So be aware of that, that if you don't breastfeed, this is gonna be a real problem in your future. All right, now how do they want me to do it? I do the pasta first. Okay. Don't get upset that I can't remember. I'm looking for it right now. <coughs> Kathy, you sound like you're dying. Yes, you do. Hmm. All right, then you want me to put on ricotta? Then mozzarella. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Then what I do? I put the mozzarella cheese, and then start the sauce again. All right. I knew there was something I had to remember. Just explaining to you. Don't you know, I lose it.
see if you diet through pregnancy, you could harm your baby, but it won't show up so much later. I've had women tell me that um, they couldn't breastfeed, or my daughter-in-law couldn't breastfeed, or this person couldn't breastfeed. If you're healthy, or one said she doesn't have enough milk, the B vitamins are what cause you to have an abundance of milk. So if you're not getting the B vitamins, she's not going to have enough milk to feed her baby. And if you don't have your digestive system up, you can't absorb the bees. Taffy, no. No. Oh, heck no. Don't you dare. Three. We got three left. That's it. I guess I can put the last pastas on top because they're not going to fit completely. We'll just, I don't want to waste any today. Maybe we can go there. We can go there. We use all the pasta that we've got, and that's that's pretty much it. Okay. I want to finish up this. Finish it up. How much Parmesan? Thank God it's not a ton.
Well, as you can see, I'm heavy handed with some dishes. It's just like making stuffed shells. You don't want to live, you want to eat. If I think I'm eating more starch than anything, I won't like the meal. I am done right here. I don't think my arms can do it anymore. If you want to know about my tomato sauce, I did a video showing how to make James Beard's tomato sauce, and that's the one I use, and I love it. It's really easy. Now that's going to bake until bubbly, and I'll just check it at that time, you know. And then what I do is I'll take it off and leave it in for another five or ten minutes without the foil on it. Then I take it out, let it sit 20 minutes, and then we'll be eating. Take care.